Right, so both of these laptops have the same specs and price, but you know, one's a little more Scarlett Johansson and the other's a little more Forrest Whitaker. But the real deciding factor when looking at a gaming laptop is performance. So hopefully I can help you pick the right one and help you save some money with the sponsor of this video, scdkey.com. If you're a member of the Frugal Gang like I am, head over to scdkey.com to find awesome deals on game keys and software licenses like Windows 10 Pro for under 17 bucks. And if you enter the secret Frugal Gang promo code JV20 at checkout, you'll get an additional 20% off. So make us all proud. Click the link in the description and start saving some money. So getting right into the specs for both laptops, they both come with the Intel i7 9750H. They both have the GTX 1660. 60 Ti, both have 16 gigs of RAM, and both have 15.6 inch 1080p IPS displays at 144 hertz. Now, based on looks alone, I prefer the Y540 because it's much less, I'm a nerd who spends all my spare time gaming and more, I might be addicted to gaming, but you'll never know, whereas the Helios 300 just screams, I'm 35, not a student, but still live in my parents' basement. But the thing is, the Helios feels like it's more premium because of that aluminum lid and chassis while the Y540 is all plastic. They both have the same amount of ports with three USB-A, one USB-C, HDMI, network, mini display, and audio combo jack. The big difference here though is that Lenovo thoughtfully placed most of it on the back, whereas the Acer, it's all side boob. My preference is the rear. For maintenance and upgrades, the Helios takes the gold medal here because it's way easier to get the bottom panel off and there's two PCIe slots for SSDs and a mechanical drive bay. The Wi-Fi 540 only has one PCIe slot and a mechanical drive bay. So basically the Helios has more flexibility than the Wi-Fi 540 when it comes to storage. But just like the Helios, the Wi-Fi 40 still gives us access to everything like the fans, wireless card, RAM, and battery, which, is actually another fair difference between the two because even though the capacities are only off by one watt hour, the Wi-Fi 40 gave me just under three hours where the Helios gave me just over four. And that's with the Helios having a brighter display. Now they both have 15.6 inch 1080p IPS displays with 144 Hertz refresh rate. And they both actually have great color gamuts. But the real difference here is the max brightness. Because after testing, the Helios actually reaches 322 nits at its max, whereas the Wi-Fi 540 tops out at only 290. And not only that, the Wi-Fi 540 has really weird brightness steps. Like the difference between 80% and 100% is fairly dramatic. The Helios, on the other hand, has nice consistent steps to better dial in the brightness you're looking for. The keyboards on both are excellent to type on. Both of them are backlit, but neither come with RGB unless you shell out an extra 300 bucks for the Helios, which has thicker keycaps, a longer travel distance, and a nice and subtle clicky feel on the follow through. Both trackpads are running Windows Precision drivers and they both perform great except the Helios has a click style trackpad which I do prefer because I find it's just more efficient for me and it's a bit bigger than the Wi-Fi 40s too. Now when it comes to speaker audio quality I uh, noticed quite a bit of a difference. The Helios does get loud but it's really hollow and high pitched sounding to the point where the highs literally hurt my eardrums. But the Wi-Fi 40 sounds much fuller with more concentration on the mids and lows. Basically the Wi-Fi 40 sounds miles better than the Helios but then and again, there's always headphones, which you'll desperately need while the fans are cranked up to max. So for example, while stress testing with the fan set at max and with Cooler Boost on, the Helios got up to 60 dB. That's bloody loud, like hear them through headphones loud, but the Wi-Fi 540 only gets up to around 52 dB. Let me tell you, that 8 dB difference is pretty big. But here's the thing, while the Helios is quite a bit louder than the Wi-Fi 540, it does a much better job at cooling. The Helios does power limit throttle right out the gate, but comes factory undervolted by 125 millivolts, which helps maintain higher CPU boost clocks, which during my testing was a pretty stable 3.9 gigahertz at an average 80 degrees Celsius. But with the Wi-Fi 540, it thermal throttles right away, so I actually needed to undervolt it by 140 millivolts to get a stable 3.9 0.5 gigahertz at a nice ripe temperature of 94 degrees. So basically with the same specs and price, the Wi-Fi 540 runs both a little slower and a lot hotter than the Helios. But how does that translate to gaming performance? Well, exactly as you'd think. Almost. So in game, I noticed that yes, the Helios clocks higher, runs cooler, and gets better frame rates with two out of the three games I tested them both with. But for some weird ass reason, the Wi-Fi 540 does better with Battlefield 5 than the Helios does, like 10 to 15 FPS better. I tested on the exact same maps with the exact same settings and latency, but over and over again, the Wi-Fi 40 came out ahead, which left me 
you know, shall we say frustratingly confused, to put it mildly? Especially after benchmarking with Fire Strike and Time Spy, the Helios came out on top over and over again. So I guess if you want to play Battlefield 5, just go with the Y540. I'm just joking. Get the Helios 300. I mean, really, you can't go wrong with either. They're both awesome choices. But <laughs> with the Helios, you're getting better build quality, more storage options, a better display, better battery life, better keyboard and trackpad, GPU overclocking, independent fan control, and better thermals, which translates into higher CPU clock speeds. I think it's just a better value than the Y540, even though the speakers make my ears bleed, the fans get crazy loud, and it's got that I'm still a virgin vibe to it. Anyways, that about does it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do show me some love with that like button because it makes me feel better about myself. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to follow me on Instagram to find out what I'm up to next. But thanks as always for watching everyone and I'll talk to you on the next one. Cheers.